Florida, or best known as God's waiting room. A lot of the older people, they like to drive Cadillacs. And for a long time, I grew up thinking Cadillacs are only for old people. But along the years, especially a couple years ago, Cadillacs been really cooking up something from the fountain of youth. And honestly, you would never expect it to look like this. But how does it drive? Shocking. And the shifts are lightning fast. The downshifts are slow as heck, but the upshifts is bam, bam, bam. This car, it packs this secret surprise punch at you where you didn't even realize that it was to be this powerful. All right, so this is the CT5V. And this is not to be confused with the Blackwing because the Blackwing is not only 30 to 40,000 much more expensive, but that one does have a V8. But don't worry though, this, this has a little secret recipe under its sleeve. And under that bonnet, this one has the three liter twin turbocharged V6. And what this one has is nothing but a surprise. <laughs> now, if you're wondering how much power is it packing in, I will tell you, it is about 360 horsepower, 405 pound-feet of torque, and for obviously on those kind of numbers, it doesn't sound the greatest, but I will tell you, it is absolutely, it feels much more powerful than that. So in the interior of the car, I gotta admit, the pictures doesn't do justice for how nice it is inside of here. Of course, being it's an American car, you still get your regular plastics on some of the panels and stuff up here, but you do get this nice display, wireless Apple CarPlay, and of course, with the amazing sound system that you have in here, you can listen to your nice classical music for all you retired people listening to this. So, anyway, uh, regular functions down here, all for the air conditioning heated seats there is an option for cooled seats um, and then of course you have a wireless uh, uh, wireless charger here and then of course just the carbon fiber all around the panels and the doors and everything like that so I want to direct our attention here to the gauge cluster because there is an option where you can get a 12 inch this uh, digital display which is amazing however we have this one and with this display we can actually look through the friction bubble which is the g-force and all that stuff I don't know why they call it a friction bubble uh, performance timer your tire temperature and then this is the ELSD and if you don't know what this means this is for your limited slip differential uh, pretty good system and uh, of course you get a blank page for why who cares who knows all right so in the back of the Cadillac room for three and plenty actually decent leg room back here decent headroom because the roof actually swoops in so you can have a little more headroom and of course you still get this nice beautiful moon roof right here so you can have a little bit more you know open feel back here and like I said surprisingly it's it's really spacious back here surprisingly and then of course you have your armrest with your cup holders and then even here you have your USB-C 12 volt and then of course you got these tiny vents that somehow blow enough air to keep me cool i don't know how they're doing it but but yeah other than that and again you get the nice quality that you get in the front and the back end as well and you get the nice beautiful stitching you get the nice carbon fiber it's just a nice look all right so in the rear of the cadillac um it's it's not that big 
you know it's not that big it's not that wide either and honestly if you see the dimensions of it and all that stuff it's really not that deep either um however you do get uh you do get some extra storage right here i guess to put a glock or something like that um and weirdly enough he had a hyundai first aid kit don't know why it's in here but none of my business although it sounds actually hold on wait a minute we're not gonna finish this video yet because gm you guys need to hear this why the hell do you guys use a freaking reverse light to show that this is open Nobody at Walmart is going to sit behind somebody for five minutes just to notice that they're not even in the car. Take that damn thing out, man, and get your... So back to our peaceful transition to the inside. This car is super comfortable to drive, and that is due to the Magna Ride. And what the Magna Ride is, is a system that scans the road a thousand times per second to give you the most comfortable ride in any circumstance. All right, so we're in our most comfortable setting right now, which is tour mode. And if you want to relax and just be the old retired person that you might be, you definitely can do it. And it's probably a good time to start talking about the transmission. And what's in it is a 10 speed automatic transmission. And it is very smooth. In any mode that I have it in, whether if it's track, sport, tour mode, or whatever, it's always giving me the most comfortable ride and it's shifting at the perfect time and it's not jerky or anything like that and it's perfect and smooth. And if you guys are wondering if this car comes with a manual, that is a no. The CT5V does not come with a manual unless you have the black wing. In the regular V, it only comes with an automatic transmission. But that's okay because you can just put it in manual mode and have an absolute blast with it. And the exhaust sounds good too. You would, you would think that for a V6, it would just sound like But it doesn't sound like that. It's, it's engaging, it's exciting. It almost reminds me of the Corvette that I drove. you know, upshift and the little crack and pops every time you shift. This car surprisingly, and I'm and I'm and I mean this when I say this, I was I really wanted to not like this car. But Cadillac is definitely drinking out of the fountain of youth. Definitely out with that whole old retirement home kind of guy buying a Cadillac. No. This is definitely a car to be looked at if you are a younger person.